Hello world, Noah here, and welcome to Django by Example. In this tutorial series, we're going to learn the basics of the Django web framework for Python, and we're going to use it to build a simple product. The product that we're going to build is a programming database that will contain information about different aspects of programming. It's a pretty simple uh, application, but we'll be able to use basically all of the features that Django offers in order to create this website. Let's take a quick look in this video at the final product, and then in all of the future videos of the series, we'll work step by step to actually build this. It may seem pretty simple, but there is quite a bit of work that goes into making a website like this. The good news, though, is that for all the work that it takes to make a simple website with just a couple pages like this, it's very easy to add on to this website in the future. So if we want to expand this database to store hundreds of pieces of information, Django will let us do that very well. So welcome to our programming database. You'll have to excuse the look. There's no styling yet. It's just pretty simple, plain HTML, but you'll see we have all of our different items in our database uh, broken up into different categories. So the two categories so far are programming languages and IDEs. Under programming languages, we have Java, Python, and C++, and under IDEs, we have PyCharm and Eclipse. Now, if you click on a particular um, item, it will just simply show you the name of the item and a very short description of the item. That's basically all that there is right now. And then, of course, you can hit the back button to go to the home page. Looking at something like an IDE, for example, will basically be the exact same uh, looking page. Again, a very, very simple website, but quite a bit goes into making a website like this. And again, the good news is that the website will be very maintainable so that if we want to add or modify things in the future, it will be very easy to do so. In the upcoming videos, we're going to look at each of the different aspects of the Django framework, and we're going to learn how to use them to build this website. This video just serves as an introduction to see where exactly the series will take us. Thanks for watching. Continue on to the next video to get started.